Good morning everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share our videos. Today, we'll be discussing the principles of research ethics based on the APA 7th edition. First, having the ethics code, it provides us a common set of principles and standards that we must follow as a researcher. It provides us specific ways to cover situations encountered by researchers. The general principles of research ethics are as follows. First, beneficence and non-maleficence. Second, fidelity and responsibility. Third, integrity. Fourth, justice. And last is the respect for people's right and dignity. In this video, we'll be discussing each of the principles. First, under beneficence and non-maleficence, researchers should take note that this should benefit those with whom they work and take care to do no harm. Researchers must also safeguard the welfare and rights of those whom they interact. Also, researchers should resolve conflicts in a responsible fashion, avoiding or minimizing harm. Also, the researchers should be alert and guard against personal, financial, social, organizational, or political factors that might lead to misuse of influence. Under the principles of fidelity and responsibility, the following are the roles of the researchers. Establish relationship of trust. Uphold professional standards of conduct. Clarify the roles and obligations. Accept appropriate responsibility for behavior. Manage conflicts of interest that could lead to exploitation or harm. Serve the best interest of those with whom researchers work. They should also look after compliance of colleagues' scientific and professional conduct. And of course, contribute a portion of time for little or no compensation or personal advantage. Third, under the principle of integrity researchers should promote accuracy honest and truthfulness especially in their research findings researchers should not steal cheat or engage in fraud or in unintentional or even intentional misrepresentation of facts Researchers should also keep promises and avoid unwise or unclear commitment, especially to those whom they are working with. Researchers should also avoid deception, which could maybe be ethically justifiable, but they should minimize or maximize the benefits and minimize the harm. And last, under integrity, researchers should look after their responsibility to correct any resulting mistrust or other harmful effects that arise. Fourth, for the principle of justice, researchers should take note that all persons are entitled to access and benefit from the research contributions. They should also maintain equal quality in the processes, procedures, and services. Ensure that potential biases, boundaries of competence, and limitations of their expertise do not lead or condone unjust research practices. And of course, researchers should exercise a reasonable judgment. The last principle of research ethics pertains to the respect for people's rights and dignity. The following are the notes for the researchers. They should respect the dignity and worth of all people. They should take note the rights of the individuals to privacy, confidentiality, and self-determination. 
Researchers as well should safeguard the rights and welfare of persons or communities whose vulnerabilities impair decision-making. Researchers should also be aware of and respect cultural, individual, and role differences. This includes those that are based on age, gender, gender identity, race, ethnicity, culture, national origin, religion, sexual orientation, disability, language, and socioeconomic status. Researchers should not participate in or even condone activities of others based on the mentioned sources of prejudice. And again, these are the principles of research ethics. We have five. First one is beneficence and non-maleficence, fidelity and responsibility, integrity, justice, and last is the respect for people's right and dignity. Now, what are the implications of applying these ethical principles? Having those general ethical research principles, we will touch honesty by reporting data, results, methods, and procedures, and publication status without fabricating, falsifying, or misrepresenting data. Objectivity. Searchers should avoid bias in experimental designs, data analysis, interpretation, reviewing, personal decision, writing, expert testimony, and other aspects of research. Keeping in mind the promises and agreements, acting with sincerity, and striving for consistency of thought and action shows researchers or researchers integrity. Furthermore, researchers should be careful enough avoiding errors and negligence, critically examining their own work and work of their peers. Doing this, they should keep re good records of their research activities. We also have openness in terms of sharing data, results, ideas, tools, resources, being open to criticism and new ideas, yet still taking note of the data privacy. Researchers should also respect intellectual property by honoring patents, copyrights, and other forms of intellectual property. Do not use unpublished data, methods, or results without permission. Researchers should also give credit where credit is due. And most of all, researchers should never plagiarize. In terms of confidentiality, Researchers should protect confidential communications. This includes papers or grants submitted for publication, records, trade or military secrets, and patient records. Also, researchers should observe responsible publication. They should publish in order to advance research and scholarship and not just to advance their own career. Hence, researchers should avoid wasteful and duplicate publication. In terms of responsible mentoring, researchers should help educate, mentor, and advise others, promote their welfare, and allow them to make their own decision. Researchers should also respect their colleagues and treat them fairly. With regard to social responsibility, researchers should strive to promote social good and prevent or mitigate social harms through research, public education, and advocacy. Of course, researchers should also avoid discrimination against colleagues on the basis of sex, race, ethnicity, or other factors that are not related to their scientific competence and integrity. Other implications of ethical principles include competence. Researchers should maintain and improve their own professional competence and expertise through lifelong education and learning. 
for legality, researchers should know on and obey relevant laws and institutional governmental policies, especially those concerning their own research topic. For those who are dealing with researches on animals, researchers should show proper respect and care for animals when using them in research and do not conduct unnecessary or poorly designed animal experiments. For those involving human subjects, when conducting research on human subjects, researchers should minimize harms and risk and maximize benefits, observing respect for human dignity, privacy, and autonomy.